What will the future of agriculture look like? How can we start conserving water and producing food locally on a small scale so food is fresh, nutritious, and chemical free? One way to make small scale agriculture work is through small closed loop systems that focus on conserving water. Going local means going urban. So let's explore the world of closed loop urban agriculture. Let's find out how we can conserve water by growing directly in water. In order to go green, we need to start thinking blue. We need to grow a blue thumb. So what does closed loop urban agriculture really look like? Let's take a look at this diagram as an example. Organic waste can be used to raise larvae as fish feed. The larvae and fish waste can be used as inputs for crop production, and any waste from the crops can be circled back as inputs to the larvae that close the loop. We are at the beginning stages of developing this closed loop system focused on conserving water. Let's take a look at the current model in a little more detail. Let's start our cycle by feeding black soldier fly larvae organic consumer waste. Black soldier fly larvae can consume almost any organic consumer waste we can throw at them. They are a nutritious feed for animals and their frass or insect poop is a fantastic organic fertilizer. The black soldier fly larvae can be fed directly to fish. Fish were chosen because they have excellent nutrient value, they have a great feed conversion ratio, they waste very little water within recirculating systems, and the nutrient-rich wastewater can be fed directly into hydroponic systems to grow an abundance of food. So let's move on to the hydroponic systems. In order to grow a wide variety of plants, the fish wastewater will need to be amended with nutrients like potassium and iron, but the cost for nutrient inputs will be greatly reduced. Hydroponics uses water extremely efficiently. It grows food very rapidly on a small footprint and eliminates the need to treat many soil-borne diseases. Naturally, the organic and hydroponic food production will produce some waste, which can be added back to the organic consumer waste and fed back to the larva, thus closing the loop. The focus of these systems is conservation of water, oceanic fish populations, and soil biology, which is important for climate change. The biggest challenges are minimizing energy consumption and making the technology simple enough to be practical and useful. Minimizing energy consumption will be a primary focus on videos to come, so stay tuned. At Blue Thumb Designs, our aim is to share free information on agriculture technology that we think is worth spreading so that we can become better stewards of this planet. In order to go green, we need to start thinking blue. We need to grow a blue thumb.